Hi, today I want to show you how to hatch fill your shapes and text in Inkscape. Everything I'm going to show you depends on the AxiDraw extensions that you have to install first. So you're going to want to go to the link that I put for you in the description of the video. It's evilmadscientist.com, software installation page for AxiDraw, and here you're going to find the download links and the installation instructions for these extensions. You have to do that first or you won't have the options that I'm getting ready to show you. Okay? So get that done and meet me back at Inkscape. Okay, so here we are in Inkscape and your AxiDraw extensions are installed. The reason you know that is when you go to the extensions menu, you're going to see an AxiDraw line item there, meaning that you've correctly installed the extensions. So I'm going to choose Hatch Fill and you're going to see my panel here. I need to select an item and I'm going to turn on Preview so that you can see. Hatch spacing is the distance between the lines in pixels. Now, a pixel in Inkscape is 1 90th of an inch in some versions and 1 96th of an inch in other versions. So if you need an exact number, you'll have to figure out which one you have and do a little math to convert it. The angle is in degrees. So we can change the angle of that hatching. Crosshatch lets us go in both directions. I'm going to loosen this up a little bit so you can see better. Now, Connect Nearby Ends makes these loop around. Instead of being discrete lines, it's one connected line to the longest extent possible. The reason this is helpful is when you're drawing or etching or foiling with a machine, every time you have to lift the tool, it takes extra time. So this is good if you want to speed things along. This is a tolerance setting that has to do with that setting. Inset Fill from Edges does exactly that. It moves the fill in from the border. And you can set that number here and toggle that on and off. Tolerance has to do with how close the fill fits the shape. I just usually leave it on default. So you can play around with these in Live Preview and it doesn't apply until you click Apply. So when you apply this, you end up with a group that has your original shape and the crosshatch separately. You can use them together or apart. I'll show you how it works with and without the connected ends. So I'm going to uncheck this this time and click Apply. And when we put these next to each other, you can tell the difference. This is with connected ends. This is with connected ends unchecked. So let's look at some text. It works the same way, except that you have to convert text to path first. So we're going to go to Path Union to convert our text to path. And I'm going to unfill this because you won't be able to see the preview if it's colored black. So now I can turn on that preview and we have the same options that we had before. We can change the angle. We can change the tightness. And so on. And when we get everything how we like it, we can click apply. So you can see this is really easy to use, really handy for etching, sketching, engraving, foiling, drawing. So if you already have Inkscape, highly recommend you go get the AxiDraw extensions to add this capability to your version of Inkscape. Thanks for watching. I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this.